Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Wolfworld63 and in this video we are going to be doing another how-to guide for beginners and today the subject is aircraft carriers. Now mind you keep an open mind during this. I know you guys all probably hate carriers but that is how we are going to take this one. But the goal today is to help teach you how to play them. Okay so Right off the bat, we're going to go into before battle planning. Now, every ship you want to do this with, but carriers, um, this one specifically, I swear to God, if I catch anybody moving their carriers at the beginning of the match, that I will hurt them. I, I will delete their carrier from existence. You do not, and I repeat, you do not need to move your carrier at the beginning of the match. It's a stupid play idea, and it doesn't ever work in a carrier's favor at all. Okay, so dive bombers. Right off the bat, that's what we're going to start with. So dive bombers are always, and I mean always, no matter the ship type or no matter the carrier type from nation, whatever. Dive bombers are always the first ones that you want to throw in the air, no matter what. The reason for that one is because you can go out, spot the entire team, and you don't have to come in and line up a shot with torpedoes. You can literally just circle over a ship and then drop bombs on him. That it is highly recommended to do that. Uh, torpedoes sometimes work, but it's, no, it doesn't exactly work as often as you think. So, um, the dive bombers themselves, okay, and this goes for all nations, you want to read your target. No matter what, you want to read your target. The reason for it is because they have a dropping speed, and, like, the Wren here, they have a, some have a high altitude, such as the um, Americans and then Japanese and Germans. The British and the Russians have a low attack angle, so it's easier to um, just kind of hover over. Now, okay, for torpedo bombers. Now, this one is a little tricky, and yes, I understand this, but there are certain ship types that, or ship classes, that will actually help you out with this. The, um, basically, if you played a DD, you know how to deal with this. Um, you know, for arming distances, you know, um, you can't fire a torpedo without, it be, well, you can't fire torpedoes if the ship is literally right next to your ship. Now, for the plane, now for that for torpedo bombers it is something similar all you have to really do is line up your shot lead the target and make sure that wherever they're going they will be out of the yellow range or out of the yellow arming distance so you can actually hit the target now okay i will say this it, this truly all depends on say the like the commander and the ship type because you have to lead the ship a hell of a lot more with the Russian carriers because of their um, short arming distance but for the American Japanese and for the Americans Japanese and the um, Germans they have a pretty similar arming distance so you can lead them and they're torpedo speed may vary now regarding say um the british they have a hell of a lot shorter arming distance which means you can literally get up right and close to someone and just drop them now in regards to the carrier itself what i highly recommend is you stay put at the start of the match okay whenever a whenever ships start closing in or your flank collapses then you want to move your carrier to the other side of the map instead of heading for a corner. Now, okay, what I'm going to highly recommend here is that if you are being cornered and stuff like that, to or if the match is just dragging on, you're the only ship left, don't drag on the match. You're not going to win if it's a 4v, if it's like a 1v4. You're not going to win it. I'm sorry. Don't drag it on. Just pretty much put yourself out there try to live as long as you can and basically just make the match fun and fun and don't make it drag out okay now in regards to the ship types and classes that i recommend 
I highly would recommend starting with either the Germans or the Americans. The reason I say this is because you kind of get the best of both worlds with these two. Um, they both have decent plane health, um, decent, like, torpedoes, and their bombers hit like a mm, mother trucker. Especially the Germans with AP bombers. Mind you, AP bombers, you can't exactly pin an, an American carrier's, more an American um, battleship's deck with um, your AP bombers if you go that route. That's a heads up. Now, in regards to, say, um, commander builds, that I highly have to recommend doing, um, like, full torpedo builds. That's what I recommend. Um, but for, like, starting out, um, go for, um, torpedo speed. Your, um, put your, um, damage and then go for concealment for starting out. That will get you the rough estimate of what it is. That's what I highly recommend. So that is gonna do it for this video. Um, I hope you learned something. And I truly hope this can help you in your gameplay for carriers. Um, if you enjoyed what you saw, please go hit the like button. If you haven't already, please drop a subscribe. Um, leave a comment down below telling me what you thought and if this helped you. And please come join my Discord server. The link is always in the description as well as my other socials. And with that being said, I love y'all and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.